let me add a little something here. Um, you might have saw in that quote where he was talking about Cheater's Gun. Cheater's Gun is a reference to two members of Suzuki Gun, um, a group ran by Takam Mickey and no, no If that name sounds familiar, he was one of the main guys in the WWE, part of a Japanese faction called Kai and Tai back during the Attitude Era. Him and one other guy, apparently it's reference to a cheating scandal they were in a while back, a few years ago. That's well known over there in Japan. And over there in that country, they don't take stuff like that, like infidelity, especially from one of their big higher ups. They don't um, accept that as much or tolerate it nowhere near as much as the United States does. In fact, they almost all but totally ostracize you over there if you're caught or exposed doing that. So I think that was a shot from Abushi about that. As for the sexual harass harassing bosses, we will see. But one thing seems to be clear. The main thing it seems to be about them trying to make Kota Abushi come back early from injury when he is not 100%. Reportedly, at one point, you know, with his strength, he could lift like between 300 and 350 pounds uh, bench pressing. Uh, reportedly, because of one of his shoulders not being back to full strength, he can't even lift, he can barely lift 90 pounds. So, for them to want him to come back knowing that this man is injured like that, yeah, if that's true, I can't fault him for having a little salty attitude. To go this far and to say all the things he's saying, well, all I'll say is, if all the rumors of New Japan being involved with the Yakuza, which have been around for decades, if any of that is true, Koda, better be careful, my man. I mean, you might be on a mission, but New Japan might make sure you come up missing. And I'm not saying it's true, but he might want to be careful here. Anyway, that's all I got on this. I'm out.